Hi, this is Anne Gachuhi. I wanted to welcome you to the Gardening Inspiration and Ideas with Anne Gachuhi. I know sometimes we think about gardening as if it's just very intuitive to a certain extent, but there are times when you probably have questions regarding what to plant, when to plant, how to plant and all that. For those of who are into gardening, that's not so hard. You know, sometimes you do it by try and error. And that's the reason why I decided to start this new gardening inspiration and ideas. And this is a time when you're going to be meeting virtual, like I'm doing now. And I'll have a Zoom session open. Anybody can jump in, it's free. And you are welcome to come in and learn and learn from others. It's gonna just be 20 minutes of gardening. So it's not anything that is going to take you a long time or will take a lot of your energy, but it's just a place to share a few ideas that are working. We can learn from each other. And of course, we can make our gardening better. This And this is a weekly session that we're going to do via Zoom. And during this session, you'll be able to learn just some ideas maybe that are working for you, but it will be a place where we can all learn from each other. You can come and ask questions. You can also share what is working for you so that we can gain all of us collectively. But I know summer is one of those times when almost everyone starts getting involved, or hopefully almost everyone gets involved in their garden. These are examples of, of course, um, raised beds, growing vegetables. And I know for some of you who've probably grown your own vegetables, you know the joy of just getting out there and actually harvesting what you planted. So we'll be looking at some of that. How do you get a raised bed going? We'll also look at, you know, if you wanted to just grow herbs, what do you need? What are some of the herbs that can work in your area? How do you position them in the garden? When do you have this? And of course, a little bit about the health benefits of different herbs so that you can know what to grow. Things like, uh, let's say, you know, garlic, of course, is well known. But other things I love personally, and I love cilantro the most for myself. We'll be looking also at your own home landscape. If you're thinking about landscaping, what are some of the tips that you can use, especially for landscaping, either your front yard, your backyard, and so on. So this is a session that is an open one. In 20 minutes, we're going to be going through one or two topics or three, depending on the questions we're getting from the people who are participating. It's a free session. It's open to everyone. In this example, you can see this is a home gardener who just planted their tomatoes and their vegetable gardening starting to do very well. It's just about two months since they planted. And of course, you can see, uh, you know, the beets were actually looking like they were ready. So you can, we'll be talking about what can grow in your area. If you're growing things like tomatoes, sometimes they can be a little bit um, temperamental, in my opinion. I always think, you know, tomatoes need just a little care, but if you do the right things at the right time, you'll be able to get them growing. Cherry tomatoes, of course, are always the best and the easiest. But we can look at even things like setting up your irrigation drip system if you need to, if that is one of the questions that you may have. This is a home gardener who actually signed up in my sustainable gardening and landscaping program. It was a three-month program. And we went through with her. And part of that, of course, was uh, creating a vegetable garden. She wanted an edible landscape. So she sent me these pictures about um, uh, 10 days ago, and she was so excited because this was our first harvest of kales. I mean, it just started from nothing. You know, we started with her with the, testing her soil, doing a soil test so that she knows what her pH is, what fertilizers to put. And then, of course, she planted things. And, you know, two months later, it's like, oh, the collards are doing well. The kales are doing well. The uh, cauliflower are great. These are her tomatoes. She is excited. I'm sure by now they are all ripe. But it was a process where, of course, you could see and ask questions from somebody who probably had been there before you. This is another garden. I was looking at it just yesterday. One of the home gardeners has papayas. You know, papayas uh, may not be able to grow in where you are. But, of course, if you own land in Kenya or some other place, you can still grow them. So it depends on where you are in the world, of course. If it's a tropical plant, but look at how luscious that looks. These are figs, you know, if you're in a place where you can grow figs, they're such delicious fruits. So we'll be talking about the various fruits that you can put in in your garden. Some of the things you can incorporate, like these are hanging, um, these are fruit fly baits that she had to incorporate 
in her garden. So we talk about those nuances of if you need to control some of the more major pests like fruit flies, what do you need to do? These are um, a mango tree. It's really doing well. And so if you're in a place where you can grow mangoes, good for you. If not, of course, maybe you're growing apples, pears, peaches, plums. In a temperate climate, that's still going to be a forum where we can discuss. This was, of course, her orchard. And it just shows how a nice orchard looks. These were kalamatsi. These are citrus, which had fallen uh, on the ground. Uh, they just needed to be picked up. But you can see the beauty of having your own orchard. So during this session, it's going to be an open session. It's just 20 minutes. I call it 20 minutes of gardening inspiration and ideas. It's a place where we can sign up, go in, jump in, ask a question, share what you have, and all of us will benefit. So I will be sending a link like below. This is going to be for the Zoom session next week. It's just once a week. We are going to get on board, talk about gardening, uh, share what you have, uh, look at what is working, and, and certainly grow your own food. I think what you have learned during this um, last pandemic is that having your own food really helps and uh, somewhere you can go. Besides which, gardening is therapeutic. You know that. And if you've had any gardening questions in the last you know, months or so since you started gardening, depending on where you are, then you know how sometimes it helps to have somebody who can answer those questions for you. So during this session, this is the gardening inspiration and ideas free Zoom program or session that we're going to be having weekly. We'll be answering questions that you may have. We'll be sharing with members uh, how their garden is progressing. We'll be learning from each other what they're doing and what is working. So we hope you'll be able to join us for these 20 minutes of gardening every week. You can jump on board. It's a place where we can share our gardening inspirations, our gardening aspirations, our gardening questions answered. And of course, to share this, the victories of people who are harvesting, what you're harvesting, whatever you're harvesting. So it's a free open session. We hope you can join us. So thank you so much. This is Anka Chuhi. We look forward to seeing you. Click on the link below and sign up for the next Zoom session, which is going to be taking place every Wednesday at 10 a.m. That is Hawaii time. So it depends on where you are. So if you're in a place like California, it's three hours ahead. So if it's 10 a.m., that's going to be 1 p.m. If you're in a place like New York, probably it's like six hours ahead. And so when I say 10 o'clock, so you just convert those times, you see that in the Zoom session. So hopefully we'll see you next week during the next Zoom session for gardening inspiration and ideas, 20 minutes of gardening. Thank you. This is Anne. Talk soon. Bye.